hello guys welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you now the leaders of the all progressive congress in anambra state have condemned president bolad metinibu's appointment of ambassador bianca ojuko as a minister designate calling it an anti-party action they question the rationale behind the president's decision to appoint her without consulting party members during an emergency meeting of party stakeholders in Oka on Thursday, the APC leaders described the appointment as a gross uh, violation of party loyalty that undermines the morale of their members. High Chief Bonti, the Southeast Zonal Secretary of APC and a member of the APC Elders Forum in Anambra who spoke on behalf of the stakeholders voiced concerns that the president's actions do not foster loyalty within the party. That at this point, it's an act of anti-party by empowering members of another political party at the expense of the APC in Anambra State. And they are not in support of Tinibu's appointment to Bianca Ojuku. The secretary of the APC further questioned the implications of the appointment, asking, does Mr. President want a mass defection of APC members in Anambra to the All Progressive Grand Alliance? Is he indirectly working for ABGA in Anambra State? He expressed that the situation is both unheard of and highly demoralizing, lamenting that the leadership in Abuja seems to be enhancing the fortunes of rival parties at the expense of the APC. Now they criticized ABGA for monopolizing benefits from programs or empowerment schemes which he claimed only served their members while taking credit for initiative that should include all stakeholders. This is the group that despised the APC and wants nothing to do with the APC. Now, at this point, it seems that Mr. President is encouraging ABGA by making such appointments. Onu Ibo announced that APC stakeholders have decided to formally present their grievances regarding these appointments to the state chairman, Chief Basil A.G. D.K., for the submission to the National Working Committee and the National Executive Committee. In a related development, a former youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, Chidi Chidi Bay, has emerged as the state party chairman. He was declared winner on Thursday after defeating his opponent, Amechi, with several votes. My country people, this appointment of Mrs. Bianca Odumigwe Ujuku as the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs has really drawn criticisms from the All Progressive Congress, while some persons commended Mr. President for the appointment. Now, Tinibu had on Wednesday appointed seven new ministers and assigned portfolios to them, subject to confirmation by the Senate. Now, Bianca is, you know, was a former ambassador of Spain, and at this point, they noted that she has experience, you know, due to the fact that Tinibu has now given her a new portfolio as the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. So she seems to be the woman for the job. But some persons are not happy with this development. They are not happy with this appointment, most especially the APC in uh, Anambra State. They've noted that they are not comfortable with this appointment so my country people what are your thoughts on this i personally feel that um bianca ojuku's appointment as the minister of state for foreign affairs seems from her years of experience in diplomacy having served as nigeria's ambassador to spain and also to ghana she has really really you know, accumulated a lot of experience. And Bianca Ojuku's journey should serve as an inspiration 
to many, showcasing the power of dreams and determination right from her early days as a law undergraduate at the University of Nigeria to become a renowned diplomat, a politician, and a beauty pageant title holder. She has constantly demonstrated excellence. Her achievements serves as a shining example of the potential that lies within every individual, including her. Someone that won the most beautiful girl in Nigeria pageant in, in the 90s, in the 1980s. Someone that won Miss Africa in the 1980s. Someone that won Miss Intercontinental in the 1980s. Bianca has always been a trailblazer. So her appointment as the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs is a cumulation of her years of experience in diplomacy having served as an ambassador of uh, as, as a Nigeria's ambassador to to Spain to Ghana and this her journey has not ended this is like a new journey for her this is a new journey for her being a minister under Tinubu's uh, uh, government so it doesn't matter her appointment should serve as an inspiration to many her appointments should serve as an inspiration to many to motivate other persons that so you, you, you have potential and your potential can be seen regardless. Tinibu saw that potential in her and picked her as Minister of Foreign Affairs. So at this point, I don't see any reason why some persons will be back, back biting Bianca Ojuku because she's not an APC member, really. Look at the back backward mindset they have because she's not an APC member, so she shouldn't be given an appointment. So one who is an APC member that doesn't have the experience of Bianca Ojuku should be given the appointment. Is that what they are trying to say? Someone that has that does not have experience, like Bianca Ojuku, should be given that appointment because. You are an APC card carry member. That automatically makes you eligible for appointments. No, we should grow past that in Nigeria. Being an APC card carry member shouldn't make you eligible for appointments. That shouldn't be the number one criteria that the president should consider before giving people appointments. We get that is a PDP member that got appointment as the minister of the FCT. Why didn't they complain about Nye Sonweke? How come in Bianca's case, it's now all hell has been let loose in Bianca's case? Nweke, a PDP member, worked against his party to get appointments for Tinibu. Bianca, she stayed on her own and Tinibu pinpointed her. Tinibu picked her to become the Minister of State uh, Foreign Affairs. And they are now backlashing the president. Well... The president has decided, I mean, it's a thoughtful appointment. It is indeed a thoughtful appointment. It is commendable for Mr. President, you know, to really pick uh, Bianca Ojuku. And I don't see his appointment as an antipathy activity because if they say it's an antipathy activity, how about Nyeso Wike? So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section.